Hey guys, um, this is gonna be, um, a video about paranormal stuff again since I haven't done a video on that a lot, or in a while. I only did that one video and I got a lot of feedback for it, so people wanted to know some more. Um, I just watched Julius's Forever, I think that's how you pronounce her name, I might be off, not sure. Her scariest paranormal experience, oh my god, that creeped me out. And I don't think I've ever had anything that bad happen to me, but I have a story that happened to my mom when she was about my age, maybe a little bit, well, a little bit younger, she was a teenager. Um, and I know damn well that she's not going to get on here and talk about that, because just her even thinking about it brings tears to her eyes. I mean, it was that scary of an experience. And it's, um, in Julius's video, um, she talked about witchcraft and stuff like that, and um, it kind of has to do with the same thing, so that's why I kind of wanted to, you know, do this video. So, um, I'm going to try to tell you the best way that I can. I mean, you got to think it did not happen to me. This is what my mom's told me um, of all that I can remember of it. So, yeah. Okay. Um, it was my mom, her two really good friends, I can't remember what the hell their name was, and then two other guys, my mom's boyfriend and then her best friend's boyfriend, okay? My mom's best friend's brother had just passed away. So they decided, or she decided, that she was gonna try to, um, I guess call him out, um, talk to him, connect with him whatever you want to call that um so she started like reading up on like how to do that and for some stupid reason and I knew as soon as my mom told me this that she bought black candles that is a no no you know no 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 you know I, I know a lot more than um than what probably people think I do um you don't do that you do not use black candles. You are calling on something that you don't want to. Um, to do it the right way, they should have used white candles, but she was a moron and honestly didn't know what she was doing and shouldn't have done what she did at all and bought black candles. So she bought black candles. Um, she made a six point star and she put candles on each end. And this was down in her basement downstairs, okay? Um, just thinking about it gives me the chills I mean it's it's scary anyway um so they all went down to the basement and my mom doesn't remember exactly what she had them say but they were they were holding hands and they repeated each other you know it was just like this whole like chant thing okay and then all of a sudden it blacked out the candles blew out some wind come from somewhere okay um, it got really cold, just, just a, a scary situation to be in, sitting down in a basement with, with, you know, that many people and not knowing where this comes from, okay? Well, all of a sudden, her best friend started growling and hissing talking some kind of gibberish and there was enough light so that they could see her apparently I, I guess someone I, either relit the candle or brought out a lighter or something and her eyes had turned black and they had rolled in the back of her head and she was chanting something and she was uh, hissing and growling and saying really bad profanity words and I couldn't imagine being in that you know I mean that's this, this is what I'm this is the story that I'm telling you because this is what I remember of it but everybody thought she was joking at first and then she kept doing it and kept doing it and they tried to pull her out of it and she it's, she wasn't she was not who she was if you understand something went inside of her and something very bad. They did not call on her brother. They called on something very, very bad. Who knows what, but 
you mess with black candles, you're messing with a devil. You're messing with evil, evil stuff. So, um, they all ran out of there, <laughs> left her down there. The next day, she didn't know anything about it. It's like it didn't even happen. Um, but after that, her basement was very haunted very haunted so whatever she called on she it stayed there and it was not nice i mean someone who's gonna their eyes are gonna turn black and they're gonna start growling at you and scratching at you and that oh i forgot she apparently lifted up off the ground a little bit she was kind of hovering off the ground a little bit you know, it's so hard to believe that something like that happened. I know that it's possible because I know that if you if you mess with the right stuff, stuff like that can't happen. Um, and it's, she's my mom, and I know she's not gonna sit there and lie to me about something. So I know that it happened. And when she just barely tells a story, she starts. It brings tears to her eyes. It scares the hell out of her. Personally, I would have crapped my pants probably. Um, I couldn't imagine going through something like that. I mean, I think the scariest thing I've ever went through was when I was a kid. Um, and I was told on the bus for the first time that about, you know, the Bloody Mary story. And of course, you know, it creeped me out. And my sister was teasing me about it and stuff. And so that night I went to bed and I looked in the mirror and I said, there's no such thing as, you know, and she proved me wrong, buddy. Sometimes you just don't say that. You don't have to um, talk about the thing, but don't ever say that it doesn't exist if you know that it does. Or, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. You just don't sit there and say, that doesn't scare me, this doesn't scare me, because in reality it really does and you're just trying to talk yourself out of it. And that doesn't work. What happened to me is the scariest thing. I'm afraid of the dark because of it. Um, I sleep with a nightlight on. I will not sleep with mirrors around me. I'm just terrified. You know, it could have been a dream. It could have been a nightmare. I don't know, but it seemed so real then, and it's so distinct in my head. I can never forget about it. So, whatever happened. It's scarred me for life. Um, I mean, that's pretty much all that happened. I mean, she supposedly, in my dreams or nightmare or whatever, she come out of my mirror. Um, yeah, it wasn't good. Um, I think the other scariest thing that happened to me was... It was twice, actually. It's my, my uh, husband's mother and father-in-law's house. Um, I guess it's a pretty old house, but it's been restored or whatever. One night, we were laying in bed, and uh, we were over there spending the night, or visiting or whatever. Um, and all of a sudden, it sounded like someone had broken into the house. Like, something like fell. And it was really loud. I mean, you could hear it all the way in our room. And me and Steven were sitting there like, oh my God, someone's broken in. And my husband, you know, or husband, my husband, dude, he wasn't my husband at the time. Um, he was my, I think he was my fiance or might not have been engaged yet. I don't know. Anyway, um, he was trying to be all, you know, manly and I'm gonna go take care of it. I'm scared. I want to go uh, make sure my parents are okay, you know, stay here. He went and got a like knife that he had in that room or something. He went out there and there was absolutely nothing there. Nothing. There was a, um, what was it? There was like a cup that had fell on the ground. So I know that place is haunted. Um, I've always felt something in there. And the other thing that happened to us, again, when we were visiting, it, I don't know why it makes itself so known to me, but I've told you that I'm very accepted of stuff like that, so, you know, 
every time I'm there something happens it seems. Um, I'm about to actually go there for the 4th of July and stay until the, on Tuesday so I'll probably come back with another story to tell you but um, anyway we were laying in bed we weren't sleeping yet we were just talking and we were facing each other so my back was towards the door okay and the door was completely open um there's no wind whatsoever there was no fans uh there, there was not enough wind to do that and i tested it afterwards it couldn't happen with just a little bit of wind all of a sudden the door slammed i mean it slammed and it scared the hell out of me and my husband or husband we weren't married yet but anyway he just, he was like, what was that? I'm like, I don't know. Uh, I think there's something in the room. And my husband, he wasn't much of a believer, that kind of stuff. Actually, nothing had happened to him until we got together because I'm so accepted to it. I brought him into it. And I feel really bad about that. But you're with me. You're going to experience stuff. That's just the way that it is. Um. So that happened so I got up and tested it and I pushed the door like if there was like a wind and the wind wouldn't be that strong anyway there might have been just a little bit you would have had to put some kind of like force behind it to slam that door as hard as it slammed I mean even just pushing it a little bit it would not close it was one of those doors you really had to like slam to close so there's no way so the door just slammed by itself and that kind of creeped us out you know um, I lived in Calvert Texas for six months, almost a year. That is one of the most haunted, God, one of the most haunted freaking towns. I mean, yellow fever went through that town and killed everybody. So, you know, and graveyards there, 1700, 1600. They're old. Um, my husband experienced something when we were visiting my parents when we, uh, when I moved to Florida with him we come back and visited uh he someone touched his face i was asleep he real honestly thought it was me and he woke me up and he was like did you touch me i'm like no honey i'm sleeping i haven't done nothing i'm not even facing you i'm not even close enough to you to touch you so something touched him um one night we decided me my mom and him decided we were going to go to one of the graveyards that was like right down the road and it was old. We didn't see nothing. My husband did. He um, he looked and he seen this light like you know like a like a graveyard digger or something like that you know a guard something. He thought that's what it was and then all of a sudden he's seen a figure of like legs and feet so then we kind of tried to follow it because he was like, no, there's there's someone in there. We need to leave. So we went around, you know, because we thought we were going to get in trouble for being over there that late at night. And um, there was nothing there. If someone had a flashlight out there, you would have seen it through the whole graveyard. It was only for that few seconds, according to my husband. I didn't see it. He did. But once again, like I said, he never seen stuff until me. So he really honestly hates that. Um can't really think of anything else. I've had so many things happen to me and not all of them have been bad. Some of them have been good, you know. Um, my uncle Sal just died recently, about six months ago. And I went down there for my Aunt Andy's funeral, which she just died a little over a month ago. And I could definitely feel his presence in that house. I mean, it's like he was still there. So, you know, not not all things have to be bad. I haven't always had bad experiences. I've had some. I haven't had that many. And I'm thankful for that because it creeps me out. I do and I don't appreciate the gift that I have to be able to experience stuff. Sometimes I don't. And sometimes I do. I liked being able to feel my Uncle Sal there because he's still there. You know, I liked that. I like sometimes feeling the presence of my grandma around my son. And I know damn well that she's there because I've went into the room before when he was younger and the blankets were pulled off of him or the blankets were pulled back on him. And he didn't do it, he was an infant. Um, it's happened to my sister too with uh, Sierra, her oldest. A sister 
was worried that she was going to be too cold. And she put like two or three blankets on her. And all of a sudden my sister went in there to go check on her and two of the blankets were rolled down very neatly. And that's something that my grandma would do. I mean, who else would have done it? So sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad. You just have to take the good with the bad, honestly. Um, yeah, but that was a long video. It's about 15 minutes long. Um, I'm, I hope you enjoyed my paranormal experience stories. Um, there's probably a few more that I could tell in another video, but nothing as scary as the one I told you that happened to my mom, and I really wanted to get that one um, up because, like I said, I just watched Delius's and that one creeped me out. So, yeah. But you guys, thanks for watching. And don't forget the beauty is only Irish deep. Bye.